ITR boxing. You heard it here first. Pretty cool videos. And I heard they're also in HD. ITRboxing.com. Little G, when are you fighting again? September 29th. Texas. Texas. How's this fight gonna be different than your last one? Is this guy gonna. Uh, the last one, the guy kinda did some funny stuff. Well, you know, uh, I just gotta keep on getting better and better. Each performance guy gets better, so that's how it's gonna be different each time. Each time is gonna be different because each time I'm gonna get better. Talk about that last performance. I know I saw you after the fight, but obviously you're not gonna break it down very uh, articulately because you just fought someone, but the guy basically ran from you. Yeah, you know, uh, first round he came out and then he felt a little bit of my power and then, and, you know, it shocked him, I guess, and then he didn't like it and then he kept on moving around the ring and then and I had to play, catch the chicken, you know, I had to run around the ring, I was trying to catch him and then, you know, I couldn't get, it out of the, couldn't get him out of there. You know, if I would have followed up the game plan a little better, you know, perfected a little more things, then he would have been out of there. But, you know, he's a tough guy. He's a tough guy. He took a lot of shots. You know, I'll give him that. You got world-class experience. You've been in a lot of fights. Was that one of the first times that someone didn't engage in a long time for you? No. Okay. You know, I have been in nationals before, you know, at, no, uh, you know, at the national level in amateurs. You know, uh, kids heard about me and, and, you know, they knew they weren't going to win, but they didn't want to get dominated. So they try to make the fight hard on me and move around, move around, move around. And that's, I don't know, I guess sometimes it's the opponent's game plan to do that. And you're back in the ring, back to back, undefeated fighters. Not very common for someone who's at the stage of your career. Yeah, we didn't have tape on the last guy and we're not gonna have tape on this guy. But you know, I believe in my corner and I believe in me. You know, I got all the confidence in the world in my corner. I feel like we can't be beat, you know, and I say that with all humbleness, you know, I'm grateful in the position I am. But in this game, you gotta be ready. And uh, especially in my case, because I'm only 17 years old and I'm fighting grown men. So I gotta take it very seriously. I gotta take it, like, you know, all the way. Because I am young and they are old, but I know my skills are a little more sharper than theirs. So that's what I use to my advantage. And I train hard as, can, as I can. And so when I step in that ring, I make sure I'm ready because it's ain't the game. I feel like people are also trying to beat you, not just to beat you, but to be the person that beats you. They're trying to earn a name off beating the youngest fighter ever to sign with top rank. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's history. Youngest fighter ever, you know, with top rank. I'm pretty sure youngest fighter in the United States is signed with any promotional company. Because I was 16 years old and I couldn't even fight and I was already signed. So yeah, uh, I mean, of course there's a target on my back. You know, when you accomplish big things, there'll be a target on your back. But you know, I'm gonna keep on working hard. This to my father tells me, you know, I'm, gonna get, I'm getting better and better because I'm listening better. You know, and that's all it takes for me to get better.